Hello everybody, welcome to my part 4 of my Banjo-Kazooie walkthrough. In this video I'm going to be getting every note and the rest of the jiggies that we need. Also, Momo tokens, and we got hit by a crab. Alright, so I'm going to start on the beach area. And then work my way around. Where did you come from? Oh, he's like stuck in the tree. Alright, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna get these notes on these two trees first, and then I'm gonna work my way around the beach area. Here's a number token up here. I have three because I. I glitched on the pirate ship over there, and I accidentally got one. I'll show you where it is in a minute. It must be over there. But let's go ahead and get this jiggy right here. Alright. And here it is. So that's our second one for this level. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to get all those notes over there later on, and you'll see what I mean when we get there. Let's go ahead and get these notes up here, and then I'll show you what to do with that bucket right there. We fart in it, just so you know. Alright, here we go. Now all the physics just blow up just like he did. And a puzzle. Alright, so the puzzle is only half the battle. Obviously, there's a crab in there we have to fight soon. And he's like a super crab and He's a lot stronger than the regular crabs. So on the wall right there is the puzzle. Puzzle's answer. Pretty simple puzzle. Uh, there's another puzzle like this in Gobi's Valley I believe. But I believe the that puzzle is a little bit harder than this one right here. But that won't be until later. Alright, so for some reason he's like really slow to come out of there. And Jiggy. Number three, all right. All right. So now that we're done with that one, let's go ahead and deal with this pirate ship over here. A lot of those clams around here. Probably my least favorite enemy in this entire game. Alright, so the token I got was underneath, right here. And for some reason, when I, when I got the... the jingo at the top up there, I, like, glitched right through it, and I, uh, for some reason got it. But it's just basically right there, right underneath the, the platform right there. Oh, 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 oh. 
kind of ironic how a hippo can't swim. That's the cool thing about this game is, despite not having any actual voice actors to voice their characters, the sound effects do a really good, nice job of describing each character. For instance, that noise, obviously the sound effect of glass hitting together or something. Uh, of course, like the token kind of sounded like Mumbo himself, but at a smaller scale, I guess. Alright, so obviously you can sell. Now there's a two part, two parts to this ship right here. This one can be pretty weird at first in areas where you have to really control yourself the swimming controls and I think also uh, the, the flying controls have an inverted type scheme where it's up is down and down is up If I'm correct, that's not the last time we'll see him, so... Look forward to him again, I believe. Also, the clams, I said in... In part... 3, that you can't kill the clams with a normal attack. I obviously just did, and... I must have remembered long when I first played the game. Alright, so... This chest right here, of course, has some notes in it. But not every chest will have notes or anything like that. That right there has, I believe, either red feathers or eggs. One of those two. Let's see if we can juke him. Let's see what he does. That's a huge middle finger to the face. Screw you, man. Alright, so while we go up here, go ahead and activate the X. That way we want to come back up here again. Let's see if we can't come across here and land right there. And that's fine. What's weird about this game though is, for instance, one of these boxes, if you land under one, when you fall down from um, like some platform, you'll automatically be counted as swimming. So it kind of sucks, especially if you're being chased by the shark like him. It happens in Clinker's Cavern too, when you're under his one of his little flipper fins, or whatever you call them. For these notes right here, uh, you can easily just use the talent trot and get them all. Or if that's not working for you, you can also just go up to the top and just slide down. For some reason, I can't tell if I'm just lagging or what, but I'm having a hard time getting up these stairs. Alright, so there's two tokens in here. By the end of this level, you'll probably have around nine tokens all together. But you won't be using them for a good while. So I, see that I can't tell if the recording's getting this or not, but I'm lagging like crazy right now. But it's never good now. But the tokens you won't be using for a while. Not until um, level four, anyways. I 
it's like, there we go. I'm gonna get killed from a crab that came to walk. Alright, so now we have right here to get. Oh, that was messed up. There we go. Alright, so we have, ooh, we go. Oh. You can destroy them with uh, blue eggshells, but unfortunately, you can't reach the. You can't hit them with a the blue shell because they're too deep in the water. Alright, so I'm kind of brain farting right now. Right, so let's go ahead and solve this puzzle real quick. Obviously just a little flying tutorial type thing, just like the the jump, the, the shock jump over there. Quick and easy tutorial for these new moves. I kill him as soon as yep, there we go. <laughs> You'll never find me now, but he's right there, so. I don't even know why they made us so close to right here, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so as soon as he comes up, egg him to death and it won't take very long to kill him. Alright, so that's seven. We have a little token over here to get. And there's number eight. Alright, so we're doing pretty well now. I believe now all we have to do is just go up there. Let's see if we can't get this on the first try. Water. Apparently, we just touched Grantoda's booty. Plotting the is though um, in Freezy Easy Peak, you'll be learning a, a move where you can actually attack while you're flying. Which, if you do it correctly, you can technically fly faster, which is always really cool. But I believe we're missing some notes. I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of up here first, anyways. Alright, so right here I usually lag a lot. But, uh, not to do bad right there. Alright, so over here there's three notes right here. But be careful at the edge. It's very steep. Very steep slope, like, uh, like some of the parts where you have to actually use the talon trot, but. You don't get too close to the edge, you're right. And there's a trigger. Alright, so we're obviously missing some notes. Not to remember where they are. How many of you are missing? We are missing six notes. Myself twice there. And hurt my 
was all twice there. Alright. Hopefully these last few notes won't take us very long. Let's see if I remember where they are though. Oh, that's what. We didn't tackle on Nipper yet. Alright, so he's a pretty easy pattern to follow, but what's weird is seems like his reach goes further. Alright, so he's not really that difficult, but you gotta watch out for his reach. It's kind of very weird to follow. And that's 100. Kind of weird how he has crabs in his show and allows you to like implode it into two different crabs or something. Alright, so we have pretty much one last thing to do. And that is, of course, getting that last jiggy. And then we can finally go to Clinker's Cavern, which is my favorite level. Well, one of my favorite levels, anyways. Alright, so we have Dancing Man over here. Alright. Alright, guys, this concludes my part four of my Banjo Kazooie walkthrough. Stay tuned for part five where we start Clinker's Cavern. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you want.